What is ICT, information and communication technology? What do people mean when they refer to that? Well, first of all, it has to do with communication technology. That is a very old technological trajectory. Smoke signals were one of the first communication technologies, if you will, even, even telecommunication, distance communication technologies. Then came the invention of the paper, letters, newspapers, different forms of telegraphs, the telephone, radio, television, satellite, and, and more recently mobile phones. A second technological trajectory has to do with storage technologies. That's also a very old technological trajectory. Cave paintings were one of the first information storage devices, if you will. Then Gutenberg, Gutenberg famously invented his printing press, books, magnetic tapes, vinyl record, audio cassettes, and more recently hard disk and, and, and memory sticks and all kinds of, of memory devices. And a third technological trajectory included in ICT refers to computation technology. That is also a very old technological trajectory. The abacus calculator with wooden beads was a very common and very efficient way to compute information through te with technological help. Uh, then all kind of mechanical calculators, pocket calculators, and nowadays all kind of servers and, and our computer and our mobile phones and computers have an impressive computational power. Uh, so these are basically the three things that you can do with information. You can transmit information through space. We call this communication. You can transmit information through time. From now to later usage, we call this storage. Or you can transform, you can compute information. That is actually also storage and communication, but on a very, let's say, small level and according to a procedure, an algorithm. So that's when we call it computation. The goal here is to transform information. Now, the digital paradigm is the result of the fact that these three previously separate technological trajectories converged on the binary digit, that's where the digital comes from, on the bit. So while previously you had to handle it separately, for example, you were writing a letter, then you were translating it to Morse code and communicating it, and then you had to look what it was and calculate it on an abacus in order to then again write a letter. Nowadays, all of them happen basically on the same Let's say technological format, the bit information is digitalized. The bit was conceptualized by who is known as the father of the information age of the digital age, Claude Shannon. And as early as 1948, he showed that the most fundamental way to express information is at with the bit, with the, at the entropy of the source. That, that's the technical term. So uh, this, what is often called digital conversion or ICT conversion, joins these three previously technological trajectory and it opens up a whole new myriad of possibilities given to the fact that now you store, communicate, and compute information media frictionless at the same digital platform.